Hi everybody, welcome to Sentimental Pastimes. My name is Cheryl. I have my husband's Tojito light pad that came from Amazon and I'd like to show it to you and tell you about the features of this one. I've been using my Tojito light pad for about a year now and I absolutely love it. My husband likes to diamond paint as well and we just needed a bigger option for him. This is the one that he was using. Um, it's, uh, see how th this is in the lease. It's, it's a good light pad, but it's small. See, this one is an A3 size, which is like 11 something by 16 something, I believe. I'll put it here. And um, it, it was just too small for, for him. He, you know, neither one of us have very good eyesight anymore. So he just needed a bigger option. And I just uh, said, well, let's just, uh, you know, get this one. It's like mine. It has the what makes this one unique. It has three color temperatures, and it has six levels of adjustment of those temperatures. So six levels of brightness, and um, it it's really really nice. So you, it says uniform, luminous scale included. It does have the scale on on the printed here on the light pad, which is nice. Six levels, slim and portable, it is, you'll see, soft light protection. It does, when you change the temperature, you can you can tell your eyes are more comfortable with, um, you know, could be more comfortable with one temperature over the other, so. And then, um, charging, it charges, chargeable, so. So let me get this out of the box, and I will be right back. I wanted to show you how it's packaged. It does come in this sturdy box that's got tape on all three sides. So it is a sturdy, it's a good box, you know, <laughs> hang on. Okay, it has foam on the top so that it's not damaged in transit and that's pretty thick, thick foam. It comes with this little, um, the, these tracing sheets which are nice. You can put these on the light pad and put plain paper over them and then trace it and color it, you know. So that, that's nice, if, especially if you're, you know, buying it for a child. Here is the charger. It doesn't come with the brick, but I know most of us have bricks everywhere at this point. So it's just a USB and I think it's a C-type. Yes, it's a C-type. So pretty much standard for anything right now. And again, more foam on the bottom. It's a good box. Let me open this. Okay, I'd forgotten what this was. It looked like a straw for a second, but it's a pencil. For the tracing, it's a pencil, so. Little, little added accessory there. So this is the light pad. It is 20, see, 30 mil, uh, centimeters by a little over 38, the light area. So it is big and you can, you know, really, really do a lot with this one. It has a document holder here and an LA, the, a product information sheet here that comes with it. And um, on the back, it has a stand so you can Pull this up and adjust it at several different heights. You know, if you're for diamond painting, I prefer it flat, but if you are tracing or anything like that, you know, you can set it up at several different heights, um, whichever you're comfortable with. It'll go, you know, it goes all the way down to here. So that's, you know, pretty, it's almost flat there, but and the little adjusting locks in there. So you just push it down and it locks so it doesn't come back out. So I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna put a diamond painting on top of it so that the glare doesn't bother you when I show you the different settings. There is a protective cover over this. I have yet to take the cover off of mine. So you can leave it on there and protect it for as long as you want to, or you can peel it off and get that new phone satisfaction if you want to, you know. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, we're all plugged in now, and I wanted to, um, like I said, I'm going to put a diamond painting on here. This is actually one that I recently completed. This is a 30 by 40. So, as you know, that's the canvas size, not the actual design. So, a 30 by 40 canvas will almost completely fit on there. See? So, um, I'll, uh, I got this from New Craft Day, and I will link that this particular painting below if you're interested in it. It's really pretty. I had such a ball doing this one. So, let me show you this light pad. So, there is the... I th okay, wait. Let me get this straight. This is the uh, white setting. This is the warm setting. And this is the cool setting. So, let's go back uh, to the light uh, the white setting. So here is here are the different. Let me turn this light off so you can see. Here are the different um, uh, brightness levels. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then the warm is one, two, three, four. Five. Now three looked like it was practically off, but it was very it's just very dim. And then the cool setting is more like an LED um, light and one, two, th three, four, five. So it's it's um it's more I use this setting a lot during the day and then I use the warm setting at night so it's not as you know, stark and bright in my face, and the white and the um, the cool settings are, um, you know, brighter and, and they're better to use during the day. But the warm, you know, it's it's all a matter of your preference and how well you can see. I've got 55 year old eyes, and <laughs> you know, I like to if I'm diamond painting in the evenings, I like to have it a little dimmer. But now. I do use this i this iPad. This is a big no light pad for my huge diamond paintings as well. I just slide it under the section that I'm working on. It works wonderfully. So, so that is my Tohito light pad review. I'm very satisfied with this light pad. I love it. I, I do not hesitate for one second to you know, recommend it to anyone who's looking for a good one. Like I said, I've been using mine for a year and it is going strong just like it was brand new. So, uh, the charge on it lasts probably four to six hours for me, um, uh, you know, as much as I diamond paint. So, you know, it, it would depend, but the, you know, it does have a good long charge. So, that's, that's a good thing as well. Okay. That is that, and I appreciate you stopping by, and um, this light pad is linked below if you're interested, so be sure and go over and check it out, and until I see you next time, happy diamond painting.